Hello, hello, this is Kenshin Potato. Welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun. Sorry for the abrupt ending in the last video. I am still, as this is my first LP, I am still getting the hang of recording and, and both video and sound. For example, I already recorded this video today. Well, I say video. In reality, I recorded the audio and played the game, but I, I, I forgot to set my emulator to actually record the video. So I have to do this again. So hopefully this works out. Yeah. I hope I can remember everything I was talking about, uh, about talking about. And I'm in another random battle. I get to attack first again. I guess I'll talk a little more about the battle since I'm here. Sometimes you'll get to attack first, then once you get free shot. I guess that's pretty straightforward. Something you don't have to worry about yet in this prologue is when you attack someone or they attack you, if you'll notice, the vermin takes 12 damage with one exclamation point. That means it did normal damage. If it was a period, that means it was not very effective. If it was three exclamation points, that means it was super effective. That really won't happen until elements come into play. And that hasn't... there's nothing to do with that yet. Oh man, this bat is kicking me. What's going on? the bat. Alright, there we go. So yeah, in case you were wondering, I am I am recording some an emulator, as I said. Now usually I don't care to use emulators. In fact, when I s decided I wanted to start doing LPs, I was said, no emulators. I'm going to do everything strictly on consoles. Because I still have a working Nintendo, Super Nintendo, N64. I have all of that. So I got a cord to record off my TV and everything. But then I decided that the first thing I wanted to do was play Golden Sun, because that's a game I've played a lot. And I realized I don't have a way to put that on my TV. I mean, physically you can do that because of the GameCube and the Game, game Boy Advance player. But I don't have a Game Boy Advance player, and I don't have my GameCube with me. So I'd have to get with both of those and figure that out and make that work. So I just decided it would be easier to do that here on my computer. So we're doing that. And Grandpa Jenna! Jenna, and that old guy who's asking me about Felix right now, that's Garrett's grandpa, apparently. I think he's the village elder. Great, I'm all charged up. Ah, and there's a guy with Synergy. That's why we came to this plaza in the first place. And he says he's recovered enough Synergy to save Felix, which is funny, because you can use that Synergy stone in the middle of the lake there that he was just using once you get to control your character and have Synergy to use but it automatically recovers everyone's synergy in your whole party. Whereas he maybe only recovered a little bit? I have no idea. But that's pretty silly. Let's see. Now these piles of leaves over here and up north there, if you come back to the village at a later time when you have someone else in your party and different synergy, you can move those and you can find secret stuff. And you find those all over the world, actually. There's really nothing else to do. We're almost done with this prologue, so let's get back into it. Oh, Dad, we're back! Is that you, Jenna? Yes, ma'am. I couldn't find anyone who could help. How did you do? Well, no wonder you couldn't find anybody. They're all up there trying to keep the boulder from crashing down. The boulder would have happened to me. And my brother is still... As if you can't see him from the bridge. Felix is alright. He's hanging in there. Come down here so we can save Felix! La la la. So I guess I'll talk a little bit about why I wanted to start doing LP Let's Plays in the first place. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but I kind of stutter a little bit talking like this, and I say a lot of um and eh, and I stop talking. I I I'm not really great at, at uh, oop, there comes a boulder, at public speaking. I never have. I enjoy acting, but I'm horrible at it because I have horrible stage fright. And I'm not good at learning my lines and stuff. But mostly it's the stage fright and the public speaking aspect. Oh, the boulder. Oh, look, everybody's gone there. So I'm hoping that LPing is a little bit like public speaking. I have to think on my feet and talk a lot. Kind of off the top of my head, which I'm not usually good at. So I'm hoping that doing this, I'll be able to improve that a little bit. Oh, Isaac. I can't let him go alone. It's times like these, we men have to stand together, even though you're like 12 or something. Men, right. Only the two of us survived. Oh, look. Ooh, 
are these mysterious people? How could we anticipate so sanctum would unleash such fury? I like their music here. Switch, it must have been a trap. What do you think you can conjure up a storm so powerful? So these guys are responsible for the boulder with a capital B? Assholes. These are actually the two main villains of the game. You don't find out their names here in the prologue, but I'll tell you anyway. The blue guy is Satoros, and the blonde chick with the red is Minardi. I believe they're brother and sister, but I'm not really sure. No, I don't think they are, actually. Yes, I was eavesdropping. What of it? Isaac? Isaac, they look scary. Are you sure you should be talking to them? I really like their character design. Maybe that's just me. You must forget everything you heard. Don't worry, we'll help you forget. Kablamo! Now you're in your first boss fight. Sort of. Mystery man and mystery woman appeared. Because no matter what you do, even if you tried to maybe grind, I don't know how that would be possible, grind a lot in that previous area, you're gonna die. You were meant to kill, get die in this fight, so don't even worry. Don't even try. In fact, you could probably defend, and you would still probably die in that turn. Oh, see? Yep, they killed me. Now they're gonna run away. Yeah, my mom played this game, started to play this game after me, and she got to this fight, and then I was sitting next to her, and she then all of a sudden turned off the Game Boy. And I was like, Mom, what are you doing? And she's like, oh, I lost. I need to start over. And I was like, dude, Mom, you did not get that they were so grossly overpowered you were supposed to lose that fight? I thought that was pretty silly. But then I played a lot more of these games than she has, and so I guess I'm a little more genre savvy, you might say. Alright, so now the prologue's over, and we're getting close to being able to actually play the game. By the way, I noticed something really interesting in Satoros and Minority's dialogue back there. I was talking over it, so you might not have caught it yourself. Anyone who's played the game will be maybe a little more interested than those who haven't. Um, they said, we were the only ones that survived. So I guess they brought along a larger party, perhaps? And then they were the only ones that survived? And they don't seem to really care that their friends got killed? Oh, I'm just finishing it. I just thought that was interesting. I never noticed that before. As many times as I've played this stupid game. Oh, and now Jenna's recapping what happened in the prologue. That accident three years ago. Is that why you've been studying Synergy? Yeah, that thing I Garrett was just doing with that pillar of stone in that hand. That's an actual Synergy you'll be able to use. It's probably, it's called Move probably the most common synergy you'll be using in the whole game, because it, com it comes up everywhere. And I kinda like it. Huh? You were about to say something, weren't you? Question mark? Don't be weird, Garrett. Don't you be weird, Jenna. Whatever. Are you mad at me, Jenna? Question mark? I love the little speech bubbles with the question mark and stuff. It really helps that you can't see actual expressions in the sprite's faces. Huh? Isaac's waiting for us. Yeah, no, Isaac's doing chores. He's not really waiting for you. But Jenna... <laughs> I'll leave you behind if you're too slow. Jenna... Fine, let's go. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And there's Isaac mending his roof. That is not a sign that you'll be using. But I love the little rings. I just love the animation in this game. It's really interesting. Now we get to watch him finish mending his roof. Not that it really matters at all. In this scene, they're going to tell you a little bit more about... I mean, I guess this whole prologue area... Never mind, I keep saying prologue. It's not the prologue anymore. This is just a cutscene. This whole cutscene, let's say that, is really just to tell you clarify a little bit more of what happened uh, right there before you died, you got killed off. Uh, Garrett and Jenna were just talking about how Jenna's family all died in that accident. So her parents and Felix, the guy in the river, they all died. Do you still think about the accident? And here, Isaac's mom's gonna start telling you Dora from his Dora. Dora's gonna mention things. Because Isaac's father, Kyle, died. Cal. Cal died. But I think that's everyone who died in, the, in an accident. Kyle, Jenna's unnamed parents, and Felix. So 
Cuphead face! You're almost 17. Just so much like Kyle when he was young. Oh, I hope we can get through this cutscene before I have to stop recording. Yes, let's all get on the roof. Ma'am! Boing! Hello, Jenna. Good morning. Yes, yes, good morning. Come on, get on with the cutscene. Let's all get on the roof for real. Suppose it isn't Garrett, too. I guess you didn't see me being much higher up than me. We're going to Mount Aleph with Graydon. <gasps> Mount Aleph? Isn't that dangerous? It certainly is. Mountain climbing, eh? What is that noise? Kids in their games. No, it's part of our studies. I really enjoyed the little boop 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 noises they make when they talk. It really reminds me of the animalese in Animal Crossing, if anybody's played that. And all the all the male characters go blah 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 blah. And all the ladies go blah 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 blah. And the kids go Yeah, I still wanna go. Angry! You're just as stubborn as your father! Oh, crap. Did she fall off the back of the house? Angry face! Yes, she did. Smooth. <laughs> They're laughing at her. Oh, that was exciting! I don't know if I'd call that exciting. Dora, are you so crazy? Well... Well... Uh. Oh, oh, Garrett wasn't laughing. He got stuck in the roof. Ah, and he got stuck in the roof again. Smooth. Damn it, Garrett, I just finished patching that. Oh, gosh. Shaking her head. Oh, never mind. Man, this cutscene better hurry up. Dot, dot, dot. But you better get going. Yes, please, let me get going. I would love to get going. This whole house would fall apart if you stay much longer. Yeah, well. I'll get this fixed up. You don't have to hang around here. Then why did you make me fix it in the first place if you were just gonna fix it later? Please, call me Dora. The Explorer? Get going right away! Don't put any holes in my roof! Wait, just watch your step. Yep. Yes! Garrett and Jenna joined my party! Now we climb the ladder. Let me climb the ladder. Don't make me cutscene the ladder. Come on, hurry it up. Oh, I gotta stop recording in a minute. Yes! Yes! I can move now. Alright, thanks for watching. I'm Kenja Potato. This was Let's Play Golden Sun. I will see you guys next time. See you later!